let's get to the videos. Precious. Oh my goodness. I can't believe he's ours. Is the birth mom doing okay? She's doing fine. He has the cutest little birthmark on his shoulder. Let me show you. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta encourage yourself. encourage yourself. No matter what the circumstance, I'ma be alright. Yeah. How was treatment today? Well, the dialysis went fine. But it's just sitting in that little room all day, Doctor. It's time consuming. I know. You know it takes a while to find a match. So we'll find one. Any good news? Not really, Douglas. You know, we all here are looking forward to the day when we can call you all and tell you that we found a kidney for your mom. We'll all sleep a lot easier when that day comes. And I'm hoping it'll be soon. Not Dr. Spear, you know better than that. We're not hoping, we're praying. Day and night. And it will happen sooner rather than later. And we appreciate everything you're doing, but I don't want it to be in a... He just doesn't want us to run out of time. And I keep telling Douglas, it's not in my time, not in your time, but all in God's time. I know, Ma, I know. Well, he's just always been so impatient, but he's coming around. <laughs> I'm sure. So haven't there been any new donors? Not really. It's been pretty quiet on that front. But don't stop sending us people, though. Remember, we only need one match. That's right. Okay, okay. I will do. All right, well... So, <clears throat> again, thank you for everything. You're more than welcome. And you and your wife are gonna have to come by the restaurant for dinner sometime. Yes. Yeah, I'll come in and cook for you myself. <laughs> well, you know, I may have to take you up on that offer. You know we have an anniversary coming next month. Oh, lovely. But in the meantime, please take care of your mother. And I'll see you two next week. Thank you so much, Dr. Sperry. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Is it a good sign? I think so. Just day after day. You know what's going on? Oh, hey. goodness. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I didn't want you hanging out at this stinky little hospital? Grandma, it's okay. How'd you get here? Miss Lane brought me. Plus, Dad said we'd get ice cream afterwards. Oh, okay. So you were bribed to come here now. That makes more sense, hmm? You know, I told him we'd pick him up after we left here, but you know, he's Grandma's boy. Did you finish your homework? Listen, don't you pay him any mind because he's a mama's boy. So you got it honestly. I heard that. <laughs> Douglas, you see that gentleman down there? You know, he's been working here since I started dialysis, and I mean, I don't know what he did to go to jail, but he seems to be so nice. Says hello all the time, and has that little twinkle in his eye. I was thinking that maybe we could find something for him in the restaurant if you... What do you think? I'll talk to him. Okay.
Suli. How you doing? My name is Douglas Rivers. Benjamin Sparks. Uh, nice to meet you. You too. Um, I'm here with my my son and mom over there. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen her around here before. Nice lady. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, she's going through dialysis right now. Well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, well, we're hopeful. Can't do anything for you? Well, I came to tell you I own a restaurant off Lindley. It's called Connie's. Well, I never heard of it, but uh, I'm not from around here. Well, we've worked with ex-convicts before, and I believe in second chances, so once you're released, give me a call. Okay, thanks. I actually stay at a transition house not too far from here. I may be able to get an offside job in about a month. Well, good, good. Well, then give me a call. Maybe we can work something out that'll help us both. But no violent crimes. That's the only rule I can't budge off of. We can work around just about anything else. OK. All right, thanks. All right, good meeting you. Same. All right. This might work out. I don't think he's going to call. His whole mood seemed to change when I told him I can't work with anybody who committed violent crimes. Well, maybe he did. Mom, 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 there's no exceptions. I have you, Jacob, as well as the staff to consider. It's just not an option. I tried. What do you think he did, Dad? We don't know. We don't judge, and it's none of our business. Maybe he robbed a bank, or maybe he... Son, son, look. It's not our business, OK? You understand? Yes, sir. Come on. Let's go. Grandma, wake up. We're here. She's had a hard day. We'll just get her something and she'll eat it later. She likes butter bacon. I know what she likes, boy. She's my mom. Wake up, Sleeping Beauty. Oh. Whew. Can't believe I went to sleep that quick. Y'all get the ice cream? Yeah. Of course. Butter pecan. Mmm. I think I'll take a hot bath and have mine bedtime. Okay. Check on you in a bit. Mm. Have I told you lately that you're the best son in the whole world? That's not what you said the other day when you were on the phone with Miss Linda. <laughs> hmm. Is that so? Well, Mom, you can be as mad as you want to be. I'm not going to let you go to no Hawaii with Miss Linda until we get this transplant business out the way. Well, honey, I've never been to Hawaii, and I need some sun and some fun, and maybe there's a tall, dark, handsome man down there waiting for me. What you think? <laughs> Ma, Ma, just be patient. Once we get you all straightened out, I will take you anywhere you want to go. You know, sometimes in life, you just have to get up and go. You can't wait for the right time. And would you please stop telling my business? Sorry, Grandma. Uh-huh. I want Grandma to get better soon. Can I give her my kidney? That's sweet of you, son. You know, I wish I could give her one of mine, but I'm not a match, and you need both of yours. She is going to be okay, right? She just, she just needs a kidney. That's all there is to it. I've been praying about it like Grandma always taught me to. Yeah, I know, son, but... But what? <clears throat> Nothing. 
Look, uh, go upstairs and start your homework. I'll be up there in a minute. All right. Douglas speaking. Hi, Douglas. It's Hope from the travel agency. Oh, hi, Hope. Yeah, I'm just giving you a call because I thought you were going to call me last week to confirm the dates for your trip. Oh, yeah, I was, wasn't I? I I'm so sorry. I I've just been swamped between the restaurant and just life in general. Mm. Well, it sounds like you need a personal assistant. I need more than that. Huh. Uh, well, so, how's business? Oh, it's been real busy lately. Um, okay, so did you want to stick with the December dates? Mm, look, um, Christmas in Hawaii would be great, but I think we're going to have to move it to September. My mother's birthday is the 15th, so let's see what you have around that time. Okay, not a problem. Look, look, I hope I, I owe you one. I know you're tired of moving around all these dates. Oh, no, anytime. You know what, I'll give you a call a little later this week with prices and dates, and, uh... Until then, you get some rest. Yeah. Hey, uh, what, what was your, um, your address to your office again? Oh, we're at 121 Victory Drive. 121 Victory. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, uh, right, right in the center of town, right? Yeah, I've been meaning to get down there sometime. Douglas, can you come here, baby? Uh, hey, hey, I gotta go. Uh, make sure you call me if you don't hear from me first, okay? Will do, Douglas. Take care. Good to have a break from my chefly duties. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> Woke up in a cooking mood. Thought I'd uh, try some of my new recipes out on you guys. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Keep pasta, George. Oh, nothing much, Benjamin. And just another long day. What's up, Petey? Hey. hey, Benjamin. You, Benjamin. Looks like you had a long day, Luke. Yeah, I spent all day looking for a job. You know, Petey's got to cut me loose in a couple weeks. I told you you can stay till you find something, Luke. I already told you that. I don't want to be a burden. It's no burden. If I couldn't do it, I wouldn't offer it. Look, man, you're not the only one that's scared. Scared? I didn't say I was scared. You don't have to. We all are. I mean, scared to get back out there, scared to fail. I mean, that's, that's, that's normal. I'm not going back to my old ways. I promised my mom I wouldn't. Mm, failure is not an option. You got to say it, mean it, and believe it. You're going to do fine out there, Luke. It's my own fault. I could be playing for the NBA right now, making big money. You know, coming out of high school, I was being recruited by UCLA, Duke. Kentucky and Purdue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were all on the way somewhere before, you know, we got sidetracked, man. But you can't concentrate on that. You know, you got to build from where you are. Hmm, sounds like you're learning something from that counselor. A little something, you know, now that I have that angle behind me. I think I'm ready to build. I've never seen you mad. You know what? Me either. I've been here almost seven months, and you've always been the exact same way. Steady, friendly. Yeah, when he first got here, he had a big old chip on his shoulder, a log. <laughs> Walked around here mad at the world. Yeah, but uh, Petey straightened me out. <clears throat> sure did. I told him. I said, the world don't owe you nothing. It was here first. You can either add something to it or not. Yeah, that made sense to me. So after that, he never had a problem. I, mean, I remember when he had that look at his eye. He's angry and scared to death. And we sat down and we talked, and he's right. I didn't have to tell him but one good time. 
I'm hungry. Uh, where's Jonas? Yeah, I don't know, but that boy's a trip. Nothing I say he seemed to get through that thick skull of his. Now, he ain't fooling me, and them streets ain't fooled either. He gonna get just what he looking for, a hard way to go. You know, I'll talk to him. Yeah, I appreciate that, because I done tried about everything. Sorry, Petey. Save it, son. I don't hardly want to hear your mess tonight. Forget you then, Petey. You always trying to make somebody feel bad. In fact, I done lost my appetite altogether. Hey, Jonas, come on, man. Let's uh, step outside. Look, man, don't mess this up. Mess what up? This, this, this opportunity. Don't you realize that being here is a privilege that can be taken away? Man, Pity takes everything so seriously, man. I came in late, what's the big deal? I ain't never had a daddy and I don't need one now. Look, nobody's trying to be your father, man. All I'm trying to say is get it together or you won't be here, period. You threatening me? Look, Jonas, I didn't bring you out here for the conversation to go this way, man. I, I brought you out here to help you, okay? I, I see what's going on, all right? I've been there. Those cats that are out there in the street calling you, trying to get you to carry the next package or, or run the next lick, those are not your boys, man. Now, you make a decision to go out there, and you may never come back. Well, that decision is mine. I'm sick of it. I can't find a job. Nobody trusts me to find a place to live. I can hit the streets and make two grand a day yeah, easy. But what is two grand if you end up back in a cage or in a box? That's all I got. It's not all you got. Your life is worth more than that, man. I know that. But look, man, nobody can live it for you, man. This is a decision that you're going to have to make. You're right. That's a decision that I got to make. So you stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. Good night, Jonas. Yeah, sleep tight. Benjamin, how's your sleeping these days? It's okay. I just can't seem to get this one dream out of my head. Mm. Tell me about it. I'm running as fast as I can, and I'm wearing all black. Some days it's beautiful outside, other days uh, it's raining. When it rains, I reach out my hand and try and catch the raindrops, but nothing touches me. It's like it's raining all around me, and I'm not there. And what do you think these dreams represent? <laughs> if I knew that, I wouldn't be here. You know, study says a child's first memory is recorded before his first birthday. Hmm. And sometimes we tend to, to block things we don't want to remember. Sometimes memories are painful, and our minds protect us from them. 
So you're saying you think that I'm blocking bad memories? No, what I'm saying is your dreams could be your mind's way of introducing you to a memory that was too traumatic for you to confront at one point. I just want to know what I was running from. Maybe it's not what you're running from, but what you're running towards. Hmm. Welcome to Aspire. Come on. As a matter of fact, I have. I have five things on it, and three of them I think I already completed. Okay, number one, I want to plant a garden at the transitional home. And that will represent the growth that I've had since I've been released from prison. Number two, an idea for an expandable business. I chose dog training because it's what I like to do. Good. Number three is take a yoga class, and I'm still sore from that one. <laughs> number four, learn a new language, and number five, give someone a gift. Okay, well, what language and what gift? I need you to be as specific as possible. The language is definitely Mandarin. Ni weishua yime ma, wa weishua idi apotongkwa, wa apotongkwa shoda poha. What does that mean? It means, uh, excuse me, do you speak English? My Mandarin is not so good. <laughs> well, that was good. <laughs> and then as far as the gift is concerned, it can be a gift for you or for Juna. Um, I'll know it when I see it. Well, that's a great list. So have you made a decision as far as finding your biological parents? I don't know. I'm still, uh, I'm still back and forth on that one. I mean, sometimes I wake up and I feel like uh, it's all I can think about. And then other times, I just feel like maybe it's better to leave well enough alone. Well, you'll know when it's time. Hmm. My goodness. We're done for today. Can you believe we only have a few more sessions left? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks for all your help. I'll see you in two weeks. All right, see you in two weeks. You're still saying your serenity prayer? Every morning, every night. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things cannot I cannot change. change. The courage, the courage to, to change, change the things, things, I, things I, can. I can. And the wisdom to what? The wisdom to know the difference. Oh, so you have been listening. I listen to you all the time, Grandma. Mm -hmm. And you've been teaching me that poem since I was little. Then why don't you know the rest of it, Knucklehead? And it's not a poem, it's a prayer. I only know the first part because it's the easy part. But the words just have so much power and they... they take some of the worry out of life, you know? Would you please turn the light out? The big one? And close the door for me, please? Uh. And... Don't forget to say your prayers on your knees. I don't want any of that lazy boy praying. Okay, I will, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. Good night. Hey. Hey. Won't be too late. We just have a small wedding party at the restaurant tonight. Oh, I can't wait until I go to your wedding party. Yeah, Dad. When are you going to find you a nice lady? Yeah, Dad. Maybe when I'm not busy running the two of you all over Savannah. Uh, don't you worry. She is going to come along sooner than you think. Ooh, just you wait and see. Okay, whatever, whatever. Good night, Mom. <laughs> Good night. Night, old girl. I got a visitor. Lorraine, which one do you like better? This one or this one? The bigger one. You want me this? Oh, hey, Benjamin. Surprised to see you. Hey. Nice place you got here. I like it. 
Oh, thank you, thank you. This place has been in my family for a long time. Yeah, well, uh, I came by to tell you that I might be able to start an on-site job a little sooner than I thought. <laughs> my probation officer put in a request based on my performance at the hospital. It looks like I might be able to... Hey, I remember you. In the hospital. Say excuse me, son. Excuse me. I'm Jacob. Benjamin Sparks. Nice to meet you. Are you gonna work here? Are you going to work here? I mean, are you going to work here? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not sure just yet. Well, son, he's gonna start working here someday next week. Cool. My dad's the best boss. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> oh, geez, excuse me. Uh, folks, your dinner is on the house. Son, congratulations on graduating. Keep up the hard work. It really pays off. Thank you. I will. You enjoy your evening. That was nice. That was cool, man. Oh, that's nothing. I mean, I feel it's my job to encourage these young brothers any way I can. You know it takes a village. Yeah. Yeah. Son, take this back to Jonathan. Tell him to avoid it. Come on. So, Benjamin, I have to ask, what was your crime? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, is this a, a requirement for the job? Well, it actually is a requirement. I have to be confident I can keep this environment safe. I have my family as well as the staff to consider. <sighs> Vehicular manslaughter. Was it on purpose? No, no, no. Nothing like that. So you, you actually killed someone? Two people. A couple coming home from the movies, from what I was told. So was it drunk driving? No. I fell asleep at the wheel. I was working two jobs at the time, trying to buy a house. And... Hmm. That's pretty unfortunate. Working hard, trying to get ahead. Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't want to steer you wrong. You know, I, I was no angel. I was a menace to society in most of my 20s. But I was making a change, and in a split second, it was gone. Hmm. So how much time did they give you? They sentenced me to four years. I was angry through most of it, fought through half of it. I ended up doing seven. So how long have you been out? 11 months. So now, I have to live in the transitional home for the next month. And after that, I guess I'm free to live my life. Well, Benjamin, like I said earlier, I get it. everybody deserves a second chance. I'll do whatever I can to help you out. Well, uh, you know, just so we're on the same page, um, I don't want any handouts. Mm -hmm. You give me a job and an opportunity and some hours, and I'll do exactly what's expected of me. I, I, and I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. OK. Well, I need a dishwasher. Dishwashing's good. OK. Well, so on Monday, we'll fill out your paperwork, and you make sure you bring your ID as well as your court documents and your probation papers. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, too, I, I need you to sign this to verify that I, uh, I'm out interviewing for a job. Oh, OK. OK. No problem. No problem. All right. You know, Benjamin, my son and mom really like you. And they're really good judges of character. Wow. Well, uh, I guess I'll see you next week. Next week, then. Glad to have you aboard. Thank you. All right. Good night, Mr. Benjamin. Good night. <sighs> Dad, did you know Mr. Benjamin trains dogs? No, I didn't know that. Can we get a we dog? We ain't getting a dog. We're not getting a dog. <laughs> Thank you.
You know, son, someday this will all be yours. That's only if you want it. I want it. Does it appear on your driver's license? All right, well then that'll work. Well, I encourage all my clients to get the travel insurance. Yeah, you never know. Uh, you know, why don't you um, think about it and uh, I'll call you back. Okay, bye bye. Hi. Hey. Are you Hope? I am. Oh, okay. Uh, I was just admiring your flowers. Did your uh, husband send them? Oh, no, I'm single. Hmm. <laughs> They're actually from a client. He made my day. Well, I'm Douglas Rivers. You're Douglas? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. You, oh, you probably thought, well, well look, my, my phone voice is a little extra proper, and so sometimes people think. Uh, no, <laughs> I did I didn't expect to see you here, that's all. Oh. Uh, thank you for the flowers, they're beautiful. Well, it was my pleasure. You know, it's not every day that I get flowers. Well, well you should. Because you know, flowers are good. I'm just, just really um, sorry for, you know, changing the the um, reservation so many times and so I just wanted to send you the flowers and, and I wanted to come down here and I, I knew your name was Hope and you know I wasn't expecting I just wanted to say hi 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 okay <laughs> take you to lunch if you don't have any other plans oh uh, no actually i was just gonna eat something i brought from home well, that's no fun let me take you to lunch okay okay i know a good place let me just go get my purse all right So flowers, huh? Yes, flowers. I've been so busy and you've been so wonderful keeping up with me, I figured this is the least I could do. <laughs> God, I can't remember the last time someone sent me some flowers. That's sad. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm glad you came. Oh, this is so not like me. I usually need time to talk myself out of things like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Why do women do that? We can't help it. You know, it's just one of those things. Yeah, me and my girlfriends, we, we talk about it all the time. So where are you from? Savannah. Really? No one's actually from Savannah. Uh, yeah, I am. Born and raised. Hmm. How about you? I was, I was born in Brooklyn. My father died when I was three. And when I was 10, my mother and I moved up here and been here ever since. Well, how do you like it? I love it. It's a great place to raise a family. Do you have any children? Uh, kids? No, no kids. It's just uh, me and my cat. A cat? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like cats, I mean. Yeah. What? Why wouldn't you like cats? Well, they're just creepy. They're just creepy. I mean, and it's like you work for them, you know? <laughs> well, but she's so sweet. She's so loving. She cuddles up with me. And, you know, she's really more like a dog than she is a cat. You know, my, my son's been pestering me about a dog, and I've been trying to hold him off, but I think I'm going to lose that fight soon. Yeah, you probably are. <laughs> you should probably just go ahead and, and get him a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. mm. I think, nah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so how old is he? I think it was nine. He's a good kid. So where do you work? What do you do? I own a restaurant. It's called Connie's. It's on the corner of Baxter and... And Lindley? What? what? I love that place. Really? I've never seen you there. Okay, well, I haven't been there in a while because um, I just recently moved over to the other side of Savannah, mm -hmm. down near Tybee Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, um, and I just haven't gotten over there as much as I used to. Well, we'd love to have you back. Well, I would love to come on back. <laughs> so, um, I assume that you're single. I am. Why? Why am I single? Well, how much time do you have? 30 minutes, go. <laughs> well, you know, to be honest with you, I haven't been that open to love. I mean, it went really bad with Jacob's mom and I. She just, she just changed, you know? I mean, she wound up giving me full custody and she moved out of the country with some guy. Jacob never hears from her, hasn't seen her in years. I've dated from time to time, you know, usually with one foot out the door already. I, I think it's, you know, I think it's time in my life where I'd like to share my, my time with somebody special. Uh-huh. Sounds good. What do you mean it sounds good? I mean, I'm just saying, I guess that's just the way players play, right? <laughs> I mean, you say you want somebody special, but as soon as you find that person, you back off, mm. right? Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just the guys that I meet. Well, maybe it's time you leave those guys alone and give a real man a chance to appreciate you. Well, in all fairness, I mean, men and women do the same thing. We say that we want someone, and when we find someone we like, we, we get scared and start picking them apart, and then before you know it... <laughs> We've uh, sabotaged the whole thing before the relationship even had a chance. I mean, with me, I mean, oh my goodness. I mean, my deal breakers are probably ridiculous to most people. Oh, no, no. They can't be any worse than mine. Oh, uh, no. Trust me. I mean, if your second toe was longer than your big toe, you out of there. Uh mm hmm. <laughs> but, you know, I'm probably going to have to be a little bit more flexible. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. For example, one of my deal breakers was women with cats. Until when? About five minutes ago. Mm. <laughs> Good answer. Really? The second toe bigger than the. But like. Rah, yeah, that. Oh, that's real. You know? That's real. That's like real. the craw. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to a. Well, here we are. Mm -hmm. Well. I really enjoyed myself. Me too. Thank you for inviting me. Mm -hmm. And the flowers, they, they made me feel very special. The flowers are good. <laughs> hey, listen, I, I was wondering if you could come by the restaurant for dinner one night. I'd like that. Good. Well, check your schedule and let me know. OK. Who? Take care, Douglas. Take care, Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, how's my favorite lady this afternoon? Well, I'm feeling pretty good. Well, that's perfect. So I'm going to come home and change for work, and then I'm going to take you somewhere. Well, where are we going? Just be ready in 20 minutes. I love surprises, you know that. Bye-bye. Okay, Ma. battlefield with all the bombs explode. That boy. Oh, please. Oh, Go ahead, Ma. My, this is fancy schmancy. Well, this must be really expensive. I don't think we need to be giving people oh, all our no, money. No, no, no. Relax, relax. You deserve it, okay? 
You're always running behind me and Jacob. Let me do something nice for you. But, sweetheart, you know, I'm kind of funny. I do not like people, I don't know, touching all on me and rubbing me. And You know, I never like that kind of stuff. Well, it's, these people are the best, and I booked you the, the royal package. It's got the facial, the, the body wrap, and the, the feet. And... Excuse me, but what are you trying to say? I mean, I don't think I'm looking that rough and raggedy. I mean, I, my home remedies work pretty well, I thought. I'm not saying that, Mom. Oh, my home remedies don't work? Is oh, that what no, you're saying to me? No, they're professional. They, 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 well, they, 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 okay? It'll be, it'll be fine. Just go ahead. Go ahead. I'll see you in three hours. Three hours? It's the royal package. Need all that to be a queen. Hey, hey! Hey, hey Douglas, hey. how you doing? I just came back from a, a lunch date. Oh, that explains the pep in your step. Pep in your step. <laughs> How'd it go? Yeah, yeah, we, 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 went, we went great. It was totally unexpected. I, I decided to, you know, surprise my travel agent with, mm -hmm. with some, some flowers, right? And, you know, I never never met her, but I know, I know her name is Hope. You know, Hope is usually a fat girl name. And so I didn't really think anything about it. But So I go, I go down there, and she's this gorgeous. <laughs> well, we ended up going out uh, for for lunch, and it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was cool. It was real cool. I guess that sounds good. No, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Because it ain't gonna never work. We tried to hook him up for years with a woman, but it ain't gonna work no way because he Mr. Particular. That's what he is. Mr. Particular. You too particular. That's what it is. You're gonna end up an old man in a house with a number of cats, about 15 cats. I'm talking about with cat food and litter everywhere. You're gonna be a, a cat hoarder. That's what you wanna be? A cat hoarder? That's what he's gonna be, a cat hoarder. Oh, man, stop it. Him and his wife tried to set me up a couple times, right? You know, one woman was like crazy, and another one's on medication, needed medication, and another one like Sasquatch. Oh, okay, okay, with the Sasquatch. Okay, she had a little facial hair. Well, what woman you know don't have <laughs> facial hair? See, your problem is if you wouldn't have been looking at her face and you'd have been looking at her heart and seeing what she had on the inside and see what a heart got, you would have never seen all this on the face. You got to look at the heart. That's what you got to do. Yeah, remind mm -hmm. me never to let him hook me up, period. Oh, you ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> mm hmm yes, sir. Uh-huh. Uh, who's that, your new friend? Maybe. Mm. Look here, boss, man. Uh, I need to holler at you about something. I want to talk to you about my days off. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to Florida for this retirement, and Teresa, you know, want to leave early because we got the grandbabies with us. Mm-hmm. Now, you act like I got a choice in the matter. I mean, what, what, what am I going to do? If, if I say you can't have the time off, Teresa's going to come up here and give me a hard time. That's what I'm saying. She's going to give you a hard time. You wanted to come up here? <laughs> man. Man, I can't believe you're leaving me at the end of the month. Yeah, you know, we, we still trying to find your replacement. How's, uh, how's Benjamin working out? Oh, Benjamin? Benjamin, cool, man. I'm gonna tell you, he got it together. Benjamin's stuff is together, my man. But you gotta remember, I'm the best you will ever have, that you got, and that you gonna never ever have. That's what I'm gonna tell you, that's who I am. Hey, 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 um, Johnny, listen, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna close down the restaurant on Thursday after, after lunch. Everybody get paid. It's, it's gonna be like a paid day off. This is your oh, restaurant. What, what you closing the restaurant for? Uh, I, nothing. No, 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 no. Spit it out. What you closing the restaurant well, for? Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to do a little something for, uh, you know, the tra travel agent. You know? Oh, look at you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look at you, boy, I got up a little girlfriend. Yes, you do. You got your little girlfriend. Go on, play. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I ain't going to, you know, get ahead of myself. You know, just kind of take it. Slow. Take it slow. No, no, I'm happy you got one. Go for about a couple of weeks. <laughs> you had me nervous, that player. <laughs> Look at him. I got him a girlfriend. That's all right, boy. Okay, boss, I'm out. All right, all right, all right. Hey, uh, listen, I'm, uh, I'm closing down the restaurant Thursday after lunch. It'll be a paid day off, though. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Uh, you do know I took that weekend off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah I know. It's, okay, it's good. cool. How's your mom and uh, Jacob? Oh, yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're really good, man. I just dropped off mom uh, at the uh, spa around the corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's feeling better. Yeah, 
Yeah, and stronger the better, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so I just needed to get her out of the house. You know, she's not sitting around thinking all the time. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, mm. it'll all work out. Mm. Yeah, yeah, let's hope so. So I, I'll tell Jacob and Mom that you, you asked about. Right, hey, 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 don't forget about Sunday dinner. Doors are always open. I'll, uh, maybe I will pop in there one day. Okay, I'm gonna hold you to that. All right. <laughs> hey, Doc, what you got for me? You know I get nervous every time I see your number pop up. Douglas. We've got a match. <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Wait, wait. Are you sure? I don't want to get too excited. It's Let's... okay, it's okay. You can jump up and down. You can yell and scream from the rafters if you like. But we do have a solid <laughs> match for your mother. Now listen, things are going to start moving pretty fast. We're looking to get the transplant done in about a week or so. We're just finishing coordinating with the donor. Oh, yes! I'm happy to. I want to see your mother well. Uh, well can, can I tell her? Sure you can. I was supposed to send a notification through that buzzer mm. that you've been holding on to for the last month. But I wanted to call. OK, OK, hey, 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 Doc, look. I want to see the look on her face. Thank you, Dr. Sperry. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Ma. How was it? Well, how do I look? You look great. <gasps> Those ladies treated me like I was a queen. You were right. Just royal. It was fantastic. Oh, where's that buzzing? Oh, do you know what? What time is it? We should be there to pick up Jacob right now. It's... Oh, no. Walk by faith and not by sight. I'm so happy. I have my bag all packed for the hospital Let's already, go. and I'm looking pretty. I'm gonna be the prettiest patient in that hospital. <laughs> hey, just one second, one second. Mama, be strong. I'll be right here when you get back. All right, sweetheart. I okay. Will. Love you. I love you too. All are so nice. This hospital has been so sweet. I wish somebody would. Y'all might need to go and give my son something because he's looking. I tried to tell him this is good news. It's all the beginning. It's not the end. The end.
Come in. Douglas. Benjamin. What are you doing here? Well, I knew you had a couple of days off, so I came by to check you out. A lot of people take days off, Douglas. So, what's the occasion? I had some personal business to take care of. Hmm. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Now, why do I feel like I'm being questioned? Because you are? Well, fill me in. Last I checked, I do my job at the restaurant, and from what I remember, you gave me these days off, so we shouldn't have a problem. Benjamin, I know what you did. Look, I don't know what you're talking about, but if somebody's blaming me for something, I, you know, I don't have to go. You were a match. How did you know? How did you know? How would you know that? Who told you that? Somebody can be fired for telling you I'm a, I'm a donor. Hey, look, it was me, okay? I just had a feeling I, had, I just wanted to know for myself. Why? Why what? Why did you do it? I don't know, because. Because? Be because what? I mean, there's not a whole lot of good Samaritans running around doing this type of stuff. Because it was the right thing to do. Look, Benjamin. I came to say thank you. Look, I don't want to be thanked. I didn't do it to be thanked. To tell you the truth, I'm not even happy you know. Benjamin. You saved my mother's life. And I'm glad to help. Help? <laughs> Benjamin, you, you did what I couldn't even do. A total stranger. You know how that makes me feel? I mean, I'm ecstatic. I, I, I'm ecstatic. I'm confused. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm a little jealous and overjoyed at the same time. You can't tell your mother, all right? I don't want her to know. What? Listen, what? promise me at least respect my wishes on that. Okay, I guess that's fair. Now, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd like to get back to my rest. Dinner Sunday? Thanks for the invite, but um, I'm okay. I'm back to work on Monday, and I probably won't be uh, getting out much before then. Look, take three days off with pay. No, no, no. I insist. It's the least I could do. All right. Thanks. See you next week. place mixed up. Wait, are you guys closed? Well, sort of. You're sort of closed? Yeah, we're closed this evening. Hmm. I gave everyone a night off. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You closed the entire restaurant for us? No, for you. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Right this way. Thank you. You look beautiful. Thank you, so do you. This. So wait, um, if you're closed, who's cooking? I am. As a matter of fact, let me check on our food. I'll be right back with the first course. The first course? There you go. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. I hope you like it. And I hope you brought your appetite. Oh, I am starving. 
Mm. Father, we thank you for the food and the fellowship. We ask that you continue to lead us and to guide us in the way that you would have us to go. Amen. Amen. My mother suggested the shrimp cocktail. It's one of her favorites. Mmm. Douglas, this is delicious. You tell her that this was a good pick. Sure will. Mmm. <laughs> Gentleman, he opens the door for me. He cooks for me. I love it. <laughs> I had an amazing time. So did I. Mm. I hope you'll allow me to keep making you smile. Mm. Well, I don't see. Why not? Mm. Well, cook for you any time. <laughs> Bye, Douglas. Mm. See you soon. Hope so. <laughs> Introducing a breakthrough. Sit, Juna. Good girl. Who is it? Good girl. It's Mr. Benjamin and his dog. Come in. Hi, Mrs. Rivers. Hi, Benjamin. So happy to see you. Hey, Benjamin. I'm glad you changed your mind. Well, it looks like I could have showed up earlier to help. Oh. No, no, no. You're a company. But I may take you up on that the next time. All right. Sounds good. Can I go outside and play with Juno? Is it OK? Oh, sure. Look, dinner soon, so don't go too far. Everything looks so nice. Thank you. It's just so nice to have company. You know, in my old neighborhood, everybody knew if they wanted a good Sunday dinner, they needed to come to my house. And then Douglas had to take over for me when I got sick. Yeah, but it's my pleasure, though, Ma. You have cooked plenty of Sunday dinners in my lifetime, so it's the least I could do for you. Benjamin, I wanted to thank you for those beautiful flowers. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you liked them. That was from everyone at the restaurant. I'm just glad to see you doing so well. You know I feel like a new woman. Well, you look like a new woman. All right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just so happy to be done with all that dialysis, and I can spend more time with my family and no time at that hospital. Yeah, well, uh, this is nice. I mean, very rarely do families sit down and eat dinner and actually spend some quality time together. That's for sure. Where's yours? Goodness, Mama. What? What, Douglas? Oh, I'm sorry. You will soon find out that I'm not known for my subtlety. <laughs> no, it's okay. To tell you the truth, I don't know where they are. When my adoptive parents got divorced, I ended up back in the foster system. So I got bounced around a little bit. Well, you have us now. Well, I appreciate that. Must have been very difficult for you, though. Well, it was difficult when I was younger. But I think after I got locked up, I had a lot of time to think. And, um... I just basically came to peace with the fact that I'm somebody's child. Of course you're somebody's child. So, Benjamin, want something to drink? Uh, soda's good. Any flavor will do. Oh, no. You too? That one over there is a fool for soda. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, that, that happens to be one of my weaknesses. Yeah, you and me both. Hey. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I was telling Mom how Good you're doing over here at the restaurant. Oh, yeah. It's easy to work with good people. I mean, they keep me laughing all day. I mean, especially Johnny. <laughs> oh, yeah. D Johnny's crazy. Yeah, Johnny is crazy, but you better watch out for him. He'll get you in trouble. 
Well, listen, as you know, we're looking for a new head chef. And I know you can make the menu, and I've tasted things that you made just messing around in the kitchen with Johnny. So, as far as we're concerned, the job is yours if you want it. I'll be around to make sure the transition goes smoothly. So, what do you think? Now, you know, Johnny has been our head chef since forever, so it's a hard act to follow. <laughs> well, um, I love a challenge, and I'm definitely up for it. So, you don't need any time to think about it? No time at all. They say success happens when preparation meets opportunity, right? Mm -hmm. That's what they say. So, <clears throat> welcome our new head chef. Cheers. Very exciting. Yeah. <clears throat> so, as you know, the new job comes with a raise. So next week, we'll talk about the particulars and, you know, get you all situated. You know, if somebody would have told me three months ago that this would be happening, I never would have believed them. Judo, no! Judo, Judo, no, oh. girl! Oh. Oh, Jake, take, him, take the dog outside. Take him, take him out. Look, I'm, sorry, I'm, look I'm, I'm sorry about all this mess. Now I'll get you another shirt. OK, thanks. Juno, girl. Told you about leaving that door open. Sorry, Tamara. My goodness. Let me put that in the washer for you. Oh, no, 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 no. I can just take this and, no, and put it in the bag. No, no, no. I will take this. It will be washed, dried, and folded. I'm not promising ironing, though. Oh. Uh. Now, I have never been much for animals in the house and everything, and I told that boy always to keep the door closed with you. You got your shirt here. Oh my huh? God, Mom, 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 Mom. Mom. You okay? Huh? Are you, are you lightheaded? Mom, you're doing too much. Oh, um, I told you not to run around here doing all this stuff already. I think you're right. Right, I think I need to just cover that up for me, please, and I'll, I think I need to take a rest, and it's really nice having you, son. Benjamin, I... I'm sorry. I need to get some. Enjoy the meal, though. Okay. Night. Okay, I'll, I'll check on you in a minute. You hungry? Always. Oh, girl. Juna. Did you walk here? Yeah. I'll give you a ride home. No, 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 no. We're good. No, no, no. I won't take no for an answer. Jacob? I need you to look after your grandmother. She's upstairs laying down. I'll be right back. OK. Goodbye, Mr. Benjamin. Be good. Hey, Douglas, I'm sorry, man, about Oh, uh, it's OK. <laughs> OK, no, Linda, I'm telling you, I saw it as clear as day with my own two eyes. I did. Benjamin's my son. Connie, a lot of people have birthmarks. In fact, doesn't everybody? No, no. When I gave him to the nurse, I just looked over his little body, and I saw that birthmark, I saw it, and I knew right then that I would never forget it. Benjamin is my son. I'm telling you, I know. You know mothers know. I'm telling you. OK, OK, now don't get all worked up. Just calm down. I have to tell the boys. Yeah, yes, you do. I do. I don't know when, but I've got to tell them. And you can't wait for the perfect time, because that's never going to happen. Connie, you just got to do it. Douglas is going to Atlanta tomorrow with his new girlfriend. But as soon as he comes back, I'm going to tell him and then we're going to go and we're going to tell Benjamin together. I promise. All right, now you keep me posted. Get some rest. I love you. I love you. God bless you. Thank you, Linda. <sighs> oh, Lord. Tired of struggling with regular...
How are you, Mrs. Rivers? Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Douglas asked me to check on you. Yeah, you know. That's your old Juno. <laughs> yeah, I left her outside. How are you feeling? Um, well, I gotta say I felt better. But, you know, I think it's just my body trying to get back to normal, you know? Douglas, um, doesn't want me doing very much while he's gone, so Jacob's been taking care of himself, and... Well, I don't... <laughs> I just came to check on you and Jacob, uh, see how you were doing. Is he here? Mm. Yes, he's upstairs playing those crazy <laughs> video games. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, can I go see him? Please, go on upstairs. He's up there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come in, Grandma. Hey, what's up, man? Mr. Benjamin, what are you doing here? Uh, I just came by to see if you wanted to help me walk Juno. Yeah. Hi, Grandma. Hi, honey. We're gonna be at the uh, park up the block. Do you need anything? No, just have fun. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. See you in a bit. You wanna give her a walk? Yeah. Okay. She's the best dog ever. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't always this way, though. Took a lot of training to get her like this. What kind of stuff did she is, Joe? Just hard-headed. Wouldn't listen to anything. But I think the people who had her before me must have abused her because she was really scared of everything. It's sad. I don't want anything bad to happen to Gina. <laughs> I'm glad she's your dog now. Yeah, me too. So you think you're ready to help me train her? Yeah. All right, good. So the first thing we need to do is get her used to taking commands from you. So what I want you to do is walk her a little bit, tell her to sit down a couple of times, and when she does, I want you to reward her by saying good girl, okay? Sit, you know, sit, you know, sit. Good girl. Okay. Mm -hmm. Grab the other hand. There you go. Okay, let's go. Sit, you know. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, again. Sit, you know. Sit. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. I hope my dad's having a good time. They went to Atlanta. I'm sure he is. I wanted to go. He's taking her to the aquarium. I've already been there a bunch of times, so I was okay with that. So you like animals, huh? Yeah. I think maybe one day I'm going to be a veterinarian. Is that right? <laughs> well, you did really good with her. The way you gave her the commands was perfect. Mrs. Rivers. Mrs. Rivers. Mrs. Rivers. Jacob, did your grandma take any medicine today? I think so. Mrs. Rivers! Mrs. Rivers! Call 911. Mrs. Rivers! What happened? Is she okay? How long has she been sleeping? They just came in to give her some meds so she can get some rest. Okay, I'm here, Mama. Everything's gonna be okay. Th thanks for bringing her. W what happened? I took Jacob to the park. When we came home, she was laying on the couch and she wouldn't wake up. I, I, I need to call Dr. Sperry. Has he been in here? No, he's on his way, but... Uh... There's something I need to tell you. What's that? All right, come on, let's uh, step outside. Okay. 
They really don't know what's wrong. Most likely, her body's rejecting the kidney. Well, Dr. Spurry said that everything should be fine, consider it. Yeah, I know. And there's more. When I was alone in the room with her, she started telling me a story. I'm so sorry. I made a lot of mistakes when I was a young girl. And when I had Douglas, I had twins. Are you a culturally conscious shopper or black? Kids. Then she said that. And they asked me. Which one I wanted to give her for adoption. They told me I'd already committed. I could only keep one. Well, I had to see my babies. I had to see them, and they brought them. So beautiful. And so innocent. And one of the babies had a birthmark behind his left shoulder. Very different than anything I'd ever seen, and I knew that that birthmark was a sign. I'd always be able to find you, and I knew I'd look for you. Benjamin, you my son. I'm your mother. I know you went through so much. Benjamin. It's over now. Can you... Can you accept me? she wants you to read it describes everything I told you in our own words that we had the same birthday and I, I thought that, you know, I was working too hard and I mistakenly put my birthday then. I guess it's clear now, huh? Why didn't she tell me? She was probably waiting for the right opportunity, Douglas. 
But all these years, all these years. I mean, she told me she was going through some stuff. I mean, she was young and... <sighs> and she told you, Ray. Seems she told you a lot of stuff, didn't she? But she hid it from me. It was probably difficult for her. Just because she didn't tell you doesn't mean she loves you any less. Look, Mom was a good woman. Mom was a good woman. Hey, she would have hey. Who are you to tell me about my mother? You don't even know her. You've known her for what? A matter of weeks. I've been with her 37 years. So don't you tell me. At least my mother. you had her for 37 years. If it wasn't for a simple twist of fate, you'd be standing in my place right now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. There was nothing we could do. It's hard to believe she's gone. I can't believe it. To tell you the truth, it hasn't even set in yet. I wanted to show you this. I read the serenity prayer every morning and every night. It take the worry out of life. Love always. CMR. Mary. Hmm? That was her middle name. And this is definitely Mom's handwriting. Can't believe you've been able to keep on to it in this many years. Me either. My adoptive mother said she found it in one of my socks when they brought me home from the hospital. Hmm. I'm sure it was the best she could do. <laughs> you know, I always wanted a brother. <laughs> so did I. She must have been so happy to realize it was you. Yeah. Mm. It was like she waited for all of us to be together again. Yeah, she probably did. <sighs> Mom was right about Hawaii. Man, she was so right. Sometimes you just have to... Sometimes you just have to live life. Man, I, I wish I had hope just booked that ticket originally. You know? Hope's been great through this. Yes, she has. You gonna make her your wife? <laughs> Remember what Johnny said. Don't be too particular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you got my blessing. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I like hope better than I've liked anyone in a long time, and, you know. I definitely want her in my life. Hey, you know when you're, you're dating a girl and and sometimes you just, you just want your personal space, you just want to be left alone sometimes? Definitely. Well, I never feel like that with her. You know, man, I... I really think I might have found her. Mom seemed to like her, too. Hmm. That's a good sign, knowing how particular Mom was. <laughs> hmm. 
haven't been dating somebody lately. Really? Yeah. Well, how long? Not long. I met her at the grocery store about three weeks ago. Hmm. Well, you got to bring her by the restaurant sometime. Nah, it's too soon for that. Well, what's her name? Sentara. <laughs> I used to date us in terror. Yeah, well, hopefully it's not her. Yeah, you better hope not. Well, 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 why you say it like that? Well, this girl was... Well, you know, it's, it's probably not the same. No, 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 because I, I don't like the look on your face. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of serious. I mean, could it be that bad? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. One of Johnny's hookups? Medication. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, but it might not be the same one. I, I, I don't even want to take the chance. Look, I, I'm supposed to go out with this girl to... What, 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 what am I supposed to do? Well, just tell her that you, you want to introduce her to your big brother, and we'll find out if it's the same one. That's, that, that's good. That's good. Wait a minute. What, what, what makes you think that you're my big brother? Well, I just believe that I am. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Man, I have dreaded this day my entire life. Losing my mother. I never thought I could even handle it. We'll get through it. Together. Well, we have to. Sometimes life just doesn't give us a choice.